You are listening to the MPZ Law Firm Show. Immigration bows, visa serve knows. U.S. and Canadian immigration and nationality lawyers who speak your language. Welcome back. Interpreting and explaining immigration law and what it means for you with lawyers from the NPZ Law Group, a full-service immigration and nationality law firm right here in New Jersey, New York, Indiana, India, and Canada. I'm Vijaya talking to Snehal Batra, Managing Attorney at NPZ's Raritan office. Hi, Snehal. Welcome. Hello, Vijaya. How are you? I'm doing very well. Good to have you on. So, Thank um, you. Uh, Snehal, there's something called the Stokes interview. Now, what is this and uh, why is somebody called in for a Stokes interview? Yes, uh, that's a great question, uh, uh, Vijaya. So the Stokes interview is the marriage fraud interview. So we actually um, should be very cautious when we get an interview for the Stokes interview. So if any of your listeners who have marriage-based green cards that have filed an application and have been called back for a second interview, that's what the Stokes interview is because the officer suspects that there is marriage fraud. Okay, so this happens when the immigration officer who is conducting the interview suspects that the marriage um, is fraudulent. Okay, so for green card applications, there's always an interview based on a marriage. And the couple has to appear at their local office to be interviewed to determine if the marriage is real. You know, is it legitimate? And so um, some red flags in the eyes of immigration include if there's a difference in age, race, religion, uh, multiple previous marriages, no common shared language. So when you have these red flags, you can be sure that the case is going to be scrutinized heavily. And so there are two parts to the immigration um, marriage-based interview. The first is the documentation. The couple has to show that they are um, making a shared life together. And then the second part is the interview. And so, um, and this is the most important part because again, the purpose is to determine whether or not the couple is really married and living together, whether they share a life. And so they're interviewed together. Um, the officer will start with some basic questions. Um, for example, where is your spouse born? Were they previously married? Where did they work? Um, or they can be open-ended questions, like, where did you both meet? Okay, so the officer can ask anything. If you're unable to answer these questions correctly, or there are some red flags in the case and the officer suspects that maybe there is fraud involved, then they do what's called a Stokes interview. Okay, so that could be done at the same time, or in most cases, they're asked to come back a second time, because typically... The initial interview is maybe 20, 30 minutes maximum, but the Stokes interview can last a few hours because what happens here is that they are now going to separate the spouses and ask them questions individually. They record the answers and they compare them for discrepancies. And these answers, uh, these questions are going to be a little bit more invasive. You know, for example, how did you come to the interview today? Um, how many windows are in your bathroom? How many TVs do you have in the house? Does your spouse drink coffee or tea? Uh, where do you park your car? So what's interesting is that a lot of these questions, you know, can actually confirm whether a couple is living together as a married couple. So it's really important when you have the opportunity um, when you do get called in for a second interview, for the Stokes interview, that you, you uh, approach, um, approach it cautiously. And in our case, um, for our clients, we do well, we prepare them with a mock interview. Mm -hmm. For all our clients, we we test them. You know, we we ask, we pretend we're the officers. We ask them questions to really prepare them. You know, and in my 20 years of practice, I would say there have been only two times where we've had a Stokes interview, and most of those, uh, both of those cases, where people just did not have sufficient documents. So they said, okay, we don't have any documents to show you're actually living together so we're just going to do the Stokes interview mm -hmm. okay. um, so I strongly recommend that if you uh, don't have an attorney you get one because basically this is your second chance you know immigration yeah. is giving you a second chance to prove that your marriage is a real marriage so again really important to get proper legal representation 
um, because marriage fraud is, is nothing, you know, to take light. 